Hi, in this session, we are going to continue how to adjust your Primavera program. So in last session, we uh, adjusted the codes, uh, we adjusted the resources, and you adjusted the PMS. However, in this session, we are going to adjust the layouts uh, in order to get the overall summary information, the tasks, and the resources. And we'll expect all this information to our Excel sheet, which will be our database. So uh, uh, here, let's open uh, just uh, Excel sheet and we will start with getting the overall summary so what what exactly we need from the primavera as an overall summary it's actually it's a very basic information like uh start date finish date so i prepared the list of this uh, let's copy it here so it is uh, a project start let me make it bigger a project start project finish baseline finish date data date budget delivery unit earned value planned value progress uh, percentage plan percentage and october uh, 13 remember when i told you that we are going to work on three program baseline october 13 dates and may 14 dates and may 14 is the last update and we are going to compare between may 14 and october 13 so here we are going to put october 13 progress and baseline project duration elapsed duration remaining duration and project delay so it's a very basic information so let's copy it here i prepared it and i will uh, bring it here so these are uh, basically the information that uh, we need very basic information and the most important thing that you have to rename everything properly so here i'm calling summary and also we have to rename the table so uh, we let's go for the tasks okay so let's open the baseline and uh, I, I prepared the layout. I will share it with you, this layout. I call the Power BI tasks. So this is what we have. So uh, these are the main information that we need. It's a very basic information like WBS, WBS name, activity ID, activity name, original duration, remaining duration. So these are uh, basic information. So after that, we have dates, start, finish, actual start, actual finish, baseline, start, baseline, finish variance for finish date so this is related to finish the third one is activity states and earned value information schedule percent complete planned value earned value budget library unit earned value so all are earned value uh, information and the last category is the codes which we do it before so zone number turn number flow number and so on so this i'm going to share this with you ah yeah i remember that customization we are not going to customize anything so don't customize it so we will take only this information control all and we will copy it to our excel sheet so let's open a new sheet and we will paste it here so and we have to rename it so i will call it baseline tasks okay so this is uh, for the baseline we will do it for the update so let's open the update it's loading okay yeah here we go so this is exactly the same information the same uh, layout just control all control c go to your excel sheet and open new tab and paste so and we have to again we have to rename it remember we have to rename everything so we have to rename the tab so this is i'll call it august 14 tasks so let's go to our presentation let's see what else we have so we done overall summary we done tasks sorry okay and we need to go for resources yeah so let's jump to our uh, primavera go to resource assignment these are the information i have also layout so yeah i call it power pi the resources is very basic information again no customization zero customization very important and let's go to see the columns so very basic information, WPS, WPS name, activity ID, activity name, resource ID, resource ID name, resource type, uh, start, finish, actual start, actual finish. Actually, these are the resource codes, no need, we can remove it. Okay, apply, okay. And here we go, uh, let me save this one. And we open everything, no customization, control O, control C, and copy everything, 
take it to the Excel sheet. Let me open the Excel sheet. Yeah, here we go. And paste it here. And again, we have to remember. Remember, this was uh, uh, update. So August 14 resources. Okay, yeah. And let's do it again for the biz line. So let me open the biz line. Okay. Loading. Yeah, here we go. So we go to resource assignment. Same layout, exactly the same. Okay, control O, control C, and we go to the Excel sheet, new tab. Sorry, it's loading. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Okay, open the Excel sheet. Yeah, here we go. This is, remember, this is the baseline. Okay, so this is, I will call it baseline resources. So we done summary, we done with tasks, we done with the resources. Okay, and here we go. So we done with summary task resources. So last thing to go is the activity codes. Remember, I just want to share it with you. Let me open the activities. Yeah, here we go. Let me open this layout, open. Uh, oh yeah, this one activity codes, open it. Okay, so here we go. This is this one I need. Let me close this. Let me show you the construction. Okay, so as you see here, Primavera shows the activity codes value. It doesn't show the description. So this is very important. For example, this one, D09, F, and nobody knows what is this. So I have to go here. So I have to go here to see uh, the description, what is uh, the description of this code. So I need, this is what I need in the Power BI. I need to show the description. I don't want to show the, the, the code value. So I will do something I call it uh, activity code dictionary. So in order to link between the activity table and the code uh, description, I will do something called a dictionary. So I will copy paste here, then go to uh, our Excel sheet and paste it. So I remember you have to re rename everything. So you have to, this one I call it CSI code. And here we go. I will do it again for the second one. I will do it for discipline. Okay, take everything, copy paste. Okay, go to open new tab. Yeah, this one, paste it here. And again, I have to rename it. So I'll call it discipline. Okay, and let's go for the next one. So floor number. Okay. I will do it for the rest. So just let me and and so on. So let me finish this. Okay, so we got the overall summary, we got the tasks, we got the activity codes, the resources, and uh, a curve. So we need the curve. So as I told you, we are using PMS as a weighting system. So to get the S curve data, we go to the resource assignment. Okay, so we, let me open this layout. And here, this is the PMS that we are we have, and this is the distribution of our S curve. So this is the weight distribution. So I will take only this line, copy and paste, and let's take it here. Here we can just paste it here. Everybody knows how to do the S curve. So I'm just taking this one. I will take it, make the monthly uh, progress, and also do it for the cumulative, and we'll transfer it to percentage. So yeah. Sorry, yeah, okay. Let me paste it uh, because we need it as a column. So I'll do it here and let me continue this quickly.
So that's all. We finished the overall summary. We finished the tasks, activity codes, the resources, and S curve. So this is uh, what we do in Primavera. And next session, we are going to adjust the Excel sheet. See you next session.